So the homie hit my phone like, yo, Vosh, what was your mock draft accuracy? And I was like, Psh, I don't know. Um, a lot of people's mock draft accuracy grades aren't that high, so um, I figure I might as well do this for the people. You know what I mean? Y'all may be curious about it. Plus, I really want to go back to gloat on that one pick. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, and I may review the entire draft at some point. I don't know. Or try to review everybody's you know, mock draft picks. We'll see where we at on, on time and how I weave that into my um, you know, film session type of deal but we'll we'll cross that road when we when we um when we get there so what's my grading scale if i got the pick correct i get one point if i got the pick wrong but the position correct i get a half point and then i'll take that number put in the calculator divided sign by 32 and i move that decimal two places to the right and that's gonna be my grade all right let's run this for the cardio joe burrow got that pick correct boom that's one Tua tonga valoa did not go to the washington redskins so um we did not get that one. But by Tua not doing that, it kind of messed up the draft for me because <laughs> it bumped chasing all the other guys down one time. We'll get there. I thought Jedrick Wills was going to be the first offensive lineman off the board, but it wasn't. It was Andrew Thomas. So I'm going to go one half point there. I did get offensive tackle. Correct. Um, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, Isaiah Simmons, as a result of Tua going number two, did not go to the Dolphins. He went to the Cardinals. So we're going to move on there. Big losses there. I got the Justin Herbert pick correct. Jeff Okuda did not go to the Carolina Panthers. Um, Derek Brown went there. But whatever. We losing, y'all. But we did get the um, – nah, hell nah, because <laughs> Isaiah Simmons went to the Cardinals. So my bad. Uh, we got C.J. Henderson correct. That makes sense. We got offensive line to um, to Cleveland, so that's one half a point. Makai Becton did indeed go to the Jets, so that works out. Derrick Brown, is, yeah, Derrick Brown didn't go. So Henry Ruggs went to the Raiders, okay? But we did get Javon Kinlaw going to the San Francisco 49. And it's interesting. If I would have just complied with what everybody else's mock draft said, you know, the Chase, then, uh, I mean, the uh, Joe, then Chase, then Jeff Okuda, you know what I'm saying? Um, offensive line and then go to if I would have gone the normal what everybody's been mocking mock I'd have had a cold ass mock by now but whatever um, yeah so Ken Law did indeed go to the 49ers but uh, we got offensive line to the Buccaneers so uh, the Broncos did get a receiver so I get a half a point but they ended up with Jerry Judy AJ Epinesa ended up in the second round somewhere third or something so I don't know why that happened you know he must have it must have found some weed in his car, but the uh, Falcons ended up getting A.J. Terrell. I wasn't even putting A.J. Terrell in this draft. And to be fair, I should get seven points for Cowboys taking C.D. Lamb. I should get 30 points for Cowboys taking C.D. Lamb. But I'm a chill, though. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, um... Austin Jackson was the pick here, so they did not get Jerry Juice. Well, you know, whatever. Raiders did not get Justin Jefferson. They ended up with uh, Damon Arnett, which was kind of weird to me. Uh, Grant Delpit went in the second round to Cleveland. I really got bad around here, but I kind of redeemed myself a little bit. Jalen Rager did indeed go to the Philadelphia Eagles, so I'll give myself a mark there. Um, at this point, I think the Vikings, they didn't take Gladney here. They took um, they took Jefferson here. They took Gladney with the next pick. Should I get my should I get myself half a point for that? I mean the 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 Vikings did go receiver and corner, but I just got it flipped backwards. Like, should I get myself points for that? This is my hell yeah, I'm getting points for that. I'm getting half a point for the receiver and another half of the point for the uh for the cornerback. Get out of here! The Patriots did, did not get uh, Jordan Love. They ended up trading out of this uh, out of this pick here, and the Sa uh, the Saints got Nick Ruiz. I mean, not Nick uh, Caesar Ruiz. So that didn't work out. Josh Jones did not go to the Dolphins, but the Dolphins did get offensive line with their earlier pick. Should I get myself credit for this? Should I get myself credit for this? This is my show. I'm doing it. They did indeed go offensive line at some point today. They just didn't do it with this pick. So uh, I'm giving myself half of that. Who cares? It's mine. Uh, the Seahawks drafted Jordan Brooks. Everybody got that one wrong. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what now. The Ravens drafted Patrick Queen. 
I have him going Zach Bond. And I know Zach Bond is listed as edge. But if I say Zach Bond is listed as linebacker, doesn't that mean that the position is the same for the Ravens getting? Hell yeah. So we're going to get a half a point for that. You know what I'm saying? Hell wrong with y'all, dog. Plus, if you're an edge in Baltimore, you're a stand-up outside what? Yes, yes. You're a stand-up outside linebacker. Indubitably. Um... Tennessee went offensive line right here, so that didn't work. Green Bay crawled so everybody else could draft better. So, you know, we ain't even look at their pick. They did not get T. Higgins, T. Higgins from Clemson. He actually went like three picks later than this. Um, the 49ers did not get K.J. Hamler. They ended up getting Brandon Ayuk. That's fine. I'm going to give myself a half a point for them taking receiver. And 6'4", 270, Clyde ended up going to um, Kansas City. So that's a running back that is not Kenneth Murray. Kenneth Murray did go first round. He went to the Chargers. They traded up. Um, I think they traded up with the Patriots with the 30, I mean, with the 23rd pick, I believe. Yeah, they traded up to, to, um, to 23 to get the Patriots pick. So that's that. Now, let's take a look at my draft and see how I did. So I got five, six, seven full points. And these are halves, so five, six, seven, eight. So eight halves is four full points. So my total tally is 11. Boy, I'm not graduating. <laughs> Boy, I got to take the test again next year. So if my last tally is 11 divided by 32 and we get point thirty-four, we move that mug to the right, turn it sideways, and my grade was a 34% accuracy on my mock draft. A, but in my mind, in real life, I deserve five extra points for the CD Lamb pick. So that's really 16 divided by 32. Moving that thing two spaces, that's a 50. Okay, well, shit. 50 still, fl hey, look, 50 still failing. I still don't graduate, but you know what 50 is? Half. And I was half right on half these picks. So I deserve some kind of credit for that. In the chat box, shouts out to my 50%, man. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Didn't want to hold you too, 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 too long. I'm about to get back to these film sessions. Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, and the Peace Whiskey, man. Salute. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.